Want to keep your plants from frying? You don't have enough money for one of those $700 shade houses? I didn't have that kind of money either, but I repurposed one of my old frames. You can do it too for less than $50. Here's how you do it. First thing you'll need is an old frame of some sort. We had an old RV frame and we had saved all the components for, and that's what we determined would go over our plants. You know that pop-up canopy that you have? You can use that frame for it too. Don't know about where you are, but where we are, there are high winds and you'll need to secure your poles. Get yourself an earth anchor that you can screw into the ground or we used a PVC pipe that we drove into the ground a couple of feet and then put the poles in. Second thing you'll need is shade cloth. We chose 50% shade cloth, but you think about your plants and determine the strength of shade cloth that you need. You're also going to need some of the heavy duty locking clips. Sometimes for shade cloth, they recommend the round shade cloth locking clips. And we found that those round locking clips tore the shade cloth, didn't stay closed, Pay a few extra cents per locking clip and get the ones that will hold. Roll out the shade cloth. That's the approximate size of your repurposed frame. The first place you're going to secure it are on the corners. So put that locking clip on the corner and secure the first two corners. The string you'll be using is tarred bank line. You'll be tempted to Go inexpensive and use regular string, but you need something that will hold firmly. And tarred bank line will do just that. Then place at least one more clip on each section and tie it loosely to your frame using the tarred bank line. Now you have your shade cloth clipped to the first long side. You'll throw it over and then work it over the top. Again, you're adjusting. Adjust the cloth using a pole. Now that you have the cloth over the top, let's secure the second long side but securing the corners first and then a heavy duty clip on each of the sections. You're going to secure both ends, leaving the tarred bank line slightly loose. You'll probably want to put at least two extra clips so that you can secure it to the short sides. Now that all of the shade cloth is secured, you can tighten up all of the lines. You did it. There it is, the shade cloth. When you are through with the shade cloth, when fall comes around and you need that sun again, then you simply roll it back down, clip it with some reusable zip ties, and there you have it, shade cloth for your next shade house for the next year. Your plants won't sizzle and fry because you're now using a shade house. If you thought this video gave you some cool tips for your shade cloth, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to Growing with Glenna where you're going to get some tips, some hacks, some tricks to grow your own groceries. Thanks for watching.